Okay, here we go. We're going to do a video today. This is a scientific experiment with some guinea pigs I have found here. We are going to look at uh, a sugar blocker. For everybody that's addicted to sugar and needs some help in getting rid of their sugar appetites, we found something called Jemima Sylvester, and it is an adaptogenic herb which is grown in India. Adaptogenic means that unlike a pharmaceutical, once it has um, worked its biological function, then it stops. Unlike a pharmaceutical, it just keeps going and going and going. It has no end point to it. Uh, but this herb is a woody, vine-like herb, and it's part of the milkweed family. And they've used it in India, in the Ayurvedic uh, medicine for... I think it said 2,000 years. I got this information from a website called treelight.com, T-R-E-E-L-I-T-E.com. And, um, and I'll show it to you here. It's, it's pronounced Jemima Sylvester, but this is the bottle. And I saw Dr. Berg do an experiment with this, and I thought all of us struggle with sugar addiction, so this might be something that we can do a taste test here, real home, no doctors included, and um, we're going to see what happens. How does it, how is it able to break the sugar addiction? And so this is my first guinea pig, Liam, and I'm going to put a little bit of this on the palm of your hand. Hold your palm out, and it's just a green powder. Everybody can see that. I can. Oh, okay. I'm going to get you. Okay, I'm just going to put some there. And just, maybe that's too much for you. And just lick it. Put it on your tongue. Mm -hmm. And let it coat your tongue real good. It's going to take a, it's going to take a minute. <laughs> no, don't give him any water. I don't want him to drink it. You can put this in capsules and take capsules, it said, twice a day. Um, but it's supposed to block the sugar receptors you're on your taste buds, on your tongues, and then it actually blocks the amount of sugars that would be absorbed in your bloodstream and in the intestines. And it helps to stabilize blood sugar, keeps insulin down. It also increases the pancreas and liver functions, helping to return the diminished enzyme levels in those organs back to normal. Okay, you have to coat your tongue. You have to kind of lick it around and get it on your tongue good. You can swallow it. It's okay. It's perfectly natural. Now I'm going to have Liam, now he's got his tongue coated good. We made some Halloween cookies today. And so here's his Halloween cookie. Is it on your tongue good? Okay, first I want you to lick your finger and put it, lick your finger and get some sugar on your, this is just plain table sugar. Lick your finger, get it wet. Now put it in that. Just kiss. Okay, now lick it. What does it taste like? Nothing. It doesn't taste like anything. You no. can't take the sweet. You can't taste the sweetness. No. Okay. Now here's I a did. Halloween cookie we just made. A try a bite of that. After that, can, can I do? Yeah. Take a bite of that. I don't want You don't taste. Good. You don't taste anything. No. All right. Now you get down and let me get Katie over here. Katie, I want you to taste the. Um, yeah, say thank you. Okay. Oh, Alright, here's my next person. Okay, Katie, lick your... Oh, yeah, you got to do the thing first. Okay, I'm going to give her... A, open your palm up. Alright, lick that. Lick that. And just get it on, in your mouth real good. We, we're going to have Katie try a Kit Kat bar, some sweet tarts, pieces and a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so let me open that. Put a little bit more on your tongue. You gotta get some in there. Just, it's, it's, shh, Liam. it's supposed to imitate the same as if you would have had a capsule of this maybe an hour ago. So it's down in your taste buds. Is it coated on your tongue enough? You probably should lick a little bit more. Yeah, lick it. Let me see your tongue. Okay, it's on there. Okay. So first, lick your finger and 
and see if you can get a little sugar on your tongue and see if it's working yet. I don't taste anything. You don't taste see? anything? Okay, uh -huh. take a bite of that Kit Kat bar. The sun is blocking. I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's terrible. Does it have a different texture to it? No, it just like... I can taste a little sweetness, but it's just... It doesn't even taste like a Kit Kat bar. Doesn't taste like a Kit Okay, take a bite mm -hmm. of that chocolate chip cookie. I don't taste anything. That's so weird. All right, now try the sweet tart candy. Try sweet tart. Can you taste sour? Mm -hmm. But no sweet. I can taste the sour, but I can't taste You should have eaten like, some more of that. Okay. All right, so now let me try Corey on the other stuff here. <laughs> All right, Corey, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, Corey, I want you to drink some tea, some sweet tea, and taste some honey and some peanut butter. Come on, come All on, right. Dad. So open your palm up, and you need to get a good bit of that on your tongue. I don't think Katie got enough. All right, stick it on your tongue. Let's go. <laughs> Just lick it. Yeah, lick it. Stick it all in your tongue and let it settle in there for a minute. You need more than that. What's it taste like? Lick it, lick it. It's kind of funky. It's herby. I like that. I don't taste that a lot. Well, you're going to need a lot of this, Callan, because you already like sugar. Don't you? Mm -hmm. And hopefully, if this, I mean, so far it seems like it's pretty conclusive that, yeah. people, that you can't taste so much of the sugar. And so... Um, it lasts one to two hours when you um, have it on your tongue. So I think the back of the bottle said uh, half to one teaspoon with warm water twice daily um, as directed by your health practitioner. So if you have a health practitioner, you ask about Jamima powder. Uh, Liam, okay. Got some more on your tongue? You sure? All right, drink some tea and see what it tastes like. Now that tea is a, a cup of sugar to two quarts of tea. Taste anything? Um, I mean, taste it a little bit, but not much. Okay, you needed to drink some more powder. All right, stick your finger in that honey. Yeah, stick your finger in that honey and see if you can taste the sugar, because that is sugar powered. I don't want to taste honey. Um, Did you taste more honey flavor? Yeah. You did yeah. taste more honey. When All right, try peanut little, butter. When he's a little, it's my turn? Yes, Cal, you can do it too. I'm a little worried about you having herbal powder. What do you think of that? Um, yeah, it doesn't taste as much like peanut butter. <laughs> okay. All right, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the sugar quality of the tea? Because you didn't even have a half a teaspoon of that yeah. stuff, so I mean the sweetness factor. Did it taste um, sweet at all? A little bit, medium? Um, it didn't really taste that much like tea. <laughs> it doesn't even taste like tea. I mean, okay, a little bit. Yeah, and that's the whole thing about this. It just changes the the it changes the flavor and texture of the food almost in some things. It's like the food is unrecognizable. Dr. Berg said once the sugar flavor is gone, if you're eating something that's been manufactured or processed, what you're tasting is the chemicals. So, um, and I'm going to do this later. And so then, but anyway, that's some food for thought for people that are having trouble breaking their sugar addiction. Try to get some of this. I found it on eBay. Very easy to find. And boys and um and try your own experiments at home but i think it works i think if you can take a teaspoon of that and keep it on your tongue i think it will block the sweet receptors on your taste buds so that's our experiment for today sorry it's noisy and the lighting is so bad but i have crazy hair but that's just the way it is around here we just wanted to bring that to you today, and uh, maybe you can do your own research and find something good with it. All right, this is Debbie Does Keto. Have a good one.